Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is season four of What's on the Tape. This is the first episode, actually. If you're joining me for the first time, what I'm doing is I'm looking at tapes that have been sort of abandoned over time, hopefully with ZX Spectrum games on, but we have actually had a few occasions where we've had Commodore games and, and BBC games on there. But anyway, um, yeah, so ZX Spectrum games, these have been abandoned, usually picked up from um, people sort of giving them away on Facebook or or uh, from auctions on, on, on the net where they're sort of a bundle and they've thrown in like the old cassettes where they've they've copied things. And it's really interesting to see what we've actually got. So um, th this week we have... Uh, T TDK tape. This is a 1979 one. I recognise this because we've had this before, or certainly once from these before. Well, I'm just going to look for the date there. Yeah, there we go. So if it zooms in there, we've got 1979. This is now this particular person who, who I got these from. They were pretty organised when it came to 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 tapes. When that focuses, there we go. Thank you for focusing. They're pretty organised when it came to tapes. So if we get this out. We find that it's nice and neat and tidy for a start off. Um, uh, they labelled them. I think oh, well, this one's one of the few they haven't labelled. Um, but this time around, they didn't write anything on the inlay. They wrote it on a, a little piece of paper. So I can imagine that this is pretty correct. So. What we're looking for, looking at here, is probably Hungry Horace, Ah Didums, Magic Mountain, a game I don't recognise the name of. I do recognise Hungry Horace and I do recognise Ah uh, Didums. And then we've got Checkered Flag, which basically everybody has. You either own a copy, and if you want a copy, by the way, I've got about 12 of them. Um, so, <laughs> just one of those things. And then Space Invaders, which is a load of code game. So, so, so we got we got those on there. Um, but in case this doesn't work, but however, I've got some good luck with these particular ones. But in case in case this doesn't work, he's just putting that back in there so he doesn't put it on the little, those things, or whatever they're called. Are they called poles or something? What they call them poles? What do you call them? What do you call them? I don't know. Anyway, in case that doesn't work, we have this one, which is a, a Sinclair user, and we have basically Roller Coaster on here, Snare, a game I've never played before. Sorry about the reflection there, of the light. Um, Magic, Magnetic, Magnetic Moons, Part 1, which is an adventure game. Demon Slayer, do the right thing, it says there. S um, sound um, and light, fantastic music demo. That's going to be interesting. And some assembly things and some oaks. So um, we've just got that as a backup, just in case this one doesn't play too well. But I'm hoping for good things. Anyway, without further ado, I'll stick this in the drive and we'll get it started. Okay, right, let's get this party started. Um, well, okay, certainly not a party, but, uh, but at least a bit of loading Spectrum games. Right, we'll go with basic, I think that's the easiest way. And we'll do the old favourite, start for new season, load dit dit, or load speech mark, speech mark, but there were dit dits in my house because we didn't know what they were. Um, so here we go, pressing the play button. So if this little bit of paper that was attached to it is anything to go by, we're looking at Hungry Horace. Now Hungry Horace was the very first ZX Spectrum game I owned. It was the game that we got with the Spectrum, the rubber key one, um, not a plus two like this one, but the rubber key one that we got back in 1983. We didn't get it the first year that Spectrum came out. Um, we waited um, and we got it, as I say, in 83. Okay. Tape doesn't sound very good. No, that doesn't sound good. Mm. Oh, it's one of those days. It's a bad start. Let's give it another try. Hopefully it'll work. But fear not, I have a copy of Hungry Horace literally within reaching distance from me. So that's okay. So we're all good. Just in case this doesn't work. And then we'll see if we can get on to the next one. That's actually the tape that... that uh, that's not... Uh, Okay, that's 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 ah oh, typical brand new season. We get we're starting with a with a duff one. It's a shame because this, as I say, this particular um, person's tapes usually have, have had a bit of a reputation of being quite good. Um, not a, not necessarily a problem. But I'm going to reach for Hungry Horace now while that's going on. I have got Hungry Horace. So um, yeah, I don't. The thing is, I think I got com it was it was a convincing job um, in the shop. You know that you know parents were going to roll out that sort of. Um, I think it was it was it was a, it was one hundred and twenty nine pounds for the Spectrum, and there was I think another fifteen pounds for the for the for the for the Philips. Um, I remember it being Philips. It was a grey, silvery grey um, uh, um, uh, tape uh, tape deck. 
Um, so it was that. I don't think it came. Did it come with those? Do you remember the cables, the uh, mono cables, you know, for the mic and the ear? Were they, did they come with the Spectrum? I can't remember, you know. For the life of me, I can't remember. Um, so, um, yeah, so, 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 it was, it was, 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 anyway, it was that, um, it had a nice tape camera, I remember it being a very good device, actually, it never, never really went wrong, never had to adjust it, it just always worked, it had very chunky, plasticated buttons, though, on the front, and a big, big orange one for the record, that was the, 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 the thing, um, and it was quite, uh, it was good, it would just work well, anyway, um, so, and then there was the choice of games at that point, we had the we kind of had the choice between um, sort of the, there was two I really that really kind of took my fancy. There was Horace because I, I knew it was kind of like Pac Man, um, so I had Horace and I had uh, the other one which was which was a game called Sheer Panic. Now both of these feature on my um, YouTube channel. Please feel free to have a little look and I'm, I, I, and I go on about it and on about it. I mean the thing about Sheer Panic, the Sheer Panic for me was the cover looked really good. There was a beautiful sort of picture of this alien splattering a, a, a sort of not an alien, a little spaceman splattering an alien with a, like a shovel or something similar. I can't remember if it was a shovel. I think it was a shovel. Um, but it, the, 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 the chap in the store who was selling this um, convinced convinced me otherwise he convinced me that hungry horus was the way to go so that's where we ended up we ended up with hungry horus as the as the game that was 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 the one that was my very 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 first spectrum game however to be fair i don't remember i didn't load it straight off i remember that it was one of the other things i didn't load it straight off when we got home with the spectrum first thing i did was open up the basic um, manual and sort of and and, and and actually start typing in you know the, the the usual things printing things and making colors change on the screen I remember I used to make a really elaborate demos which would would basically run through a list of routines that would make all the sides of the screen go different colors and then make tones that went from sort of do 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 type thing no actual tune to it just sort of like cycling through and the borders going different colors and the, the paper flashing different colors and it was just it was it was one of those things that you, I did with it initially um and then then of course we got they got hungry horus on and that was that was the game to play um and it, it was kind of it's kind of Pac-Man um, cloned, whatever else it is. Now, recently I've been reading about this out of interest, and I always thought that that that, that what we were looking at with Hungry Horus in that loading screen, which has just gone by there, was 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 his great big eyes, two legs, and then a little arm, which kind of changes directions. But apparently, it's hair. The the, 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 the the kind of designer of Horus has recently come out and said it's hair. And I don't. I, I mean, that just means that Oris has got very long dreads, doesn't it? Really. Put that back on the shelf. Let's get ready to play. Okay. It's, it's not Q A O P. It's Q Z I P. Um. Anyway, right. So we collect these. Uh, you don't have to collect them all. We just have to avoid the park wardens. Um. It's a score-based game. You're just making as much score as you can. Um. When we get the bell that's down the bottom, it rings and it scares the guy. Um, but we don't have to get it. You can you can do this. You can move on. Um, and as I say, it's score based. Um, you get passes because you've been locked. You're in the park, obviously, and the park wardens, and you're scoffing all the flowers because, of course, Horace is renowned for his his love of uh, of, of 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 flowery products. So. Um, yeah, and then they get scared, and then you just gobble them up like you do, and then that's it. And of course, they drop uh, strawberries, and it's just a good game because it just loops and loops and loops and loops and loops. This is my, this is the stage I hate the most though, because you have to literally get the the park warden down the bottom there to come down here, um, to do it, and they can beat you on the up. It's a funny thing, but they can beat you on the up. Um, in fact, they're slightly faster, which is a, it's an unusual for ghosts and things like that on games. Um, to be slightly faster. So I'm going to follow him round here. Oh my god. They're all there. Look. Now we need to convince them to stay in there. Stay in there. They're staying in there. We're good to go. Look at this. As long as they don't come out. We might still make it. Yes. It's a great game. I always liked Horace games. I, I think I think he was one of the, the early mascots wasn't he? He was the early, early Spectrum mascots was the old Horace. There we go. Scare him. Ring the bell. I think it's a fire bell or something like that. So anyway, and this is the oh, and we're dead. Because if it does that straight away, it comes into that bit, you're dead. It's ridiculous. It's one of the most the worst worst sort of levelly bits, um, and it's also one of the harder ones to do because of the fact that you move all around the place. Um, oh, dead instantaneously. 
It's come and got me straight away. Right, so what will happen now is if we go across the level down in here, ignore the bell, and we come out the other side, and we're back down to the first one. That's it! That's it! You've seen the entire Hungry Horus game. Um, and that's it! And the Beam software, whatever else is. We saw the whole thing! 1982 is all over, that's it, it's all done. So, uh, yeah, Hungry Horus is finished. Right, I'm going to put this tape back in again, and we're going to give it a little bit fast forward, and then we'll see whether or not we can get our diddums to work, because um, that's what's on the tape next. And let's give this, give this a go. So, right, okay, let's get down to basic. I'm hoping that the tape isn't too badly damaged. It don't, doesn't, doesn't sound good, though, does it? So I'll give this a quick fast-forward. I don't think it's going to be much to fast-forward here to get our diddums on. I don't think I've ever played our diddums. I have a copy of it. It's an Imagine game. It's an Imagine game. Um, but as I say, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever played it. If that, um, it just one wasn't a game that struck me as a so yeah, sometimes you have to kind of be taken by something don't you to be to to enjoy it um and it was one that didn't strike me however i have i have a kind of a, a a weird passion now for those games that are absolutely atrocious on the spectrum the ones that the ones that are just almost unplayable or completely rubbish um just because i think that they they need to be saved um and we shouldn't just be collecting the really good ones we should be collecting the absolute awful ones as well just so that there, there's some record them of them ever existing right so we're we're just waiting now there's no sound i think we're at the end of that tape i would say ah here we go sounds better this time much much better ah didums yes didums didums Ah, right, okay. Now, as I say, not played this one before. Had a picture of a teddy bear on the front. Never really liked the look of it. There was a... The, 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 I have a little bit of a thing with the Imagine games. I, I, some of the stuff was great, and some of the, the arcade conversions they did were brilliant. But some of the sort of single case, you know, um, single dual case, as they call them, um, they... they they didn't do themselves any favours. I mean, I fell over... I mean, Zoom is a fantastic game. Cover... Awful. Um, uh, Zip Zap, another one. A uh, picture of a robot on the front, sort of, I think he's slightly on fire or whatever else it is, sort of moving around. Zip Zap, I love Zip Zap. I think it's a great single screen arcade game, but didn't do itself any favours. A bit like this as well, a bit like our Didums here. There's no loading screen either. Um, and it, this is the kind of early Imagine games, and these are the ones that were. I don't know, these, this, this is kind of what they built their company on. Whereas Ocean, I think, went to an awful lot more effort to put loading screens on. Um, on this is on the single jewels, you know. And they put on... What else do they do? They put on lovely covers and whatever else. It's the early sort of, um, um, sort of Ocean ones. Really, really good in that way. Right. No idea what the keys might be. There's no music. Right. Okay. I think, I think I've got the keys. I'm climbing up. I'm climbing down. Oh, what am I doing? Right. Oh, I'm collecting things. What the hell is this about? Who was... Oh, jeez. What have I got a boot for? I've got to put in the jack-in-the-box. What's that about? Right, okay. I've got the controls, I think. That's... Okay. Do I have to put them away? I got a sword, I think. What am I meant to do? Oh, dear. Now I know why I never played this game. I don't know what I'm meant to do for a start off. And secondly... It's pretty naff. <laughs> oh, I can move the levels along as well. What the heck is this about? Right, comments below, guys. Comments below. What the heck is our didums about? What the heck am I going to be doing? I've got this somewhere, but, you know, it's not handy, so I am not. can't look it up. That's just... Wow. I'm a dirty, great, man-sized teddy bear, it seems. With a very funny walk. Look at that. Since when bears walk like that? 
Reminds me of Bungle from from the, the, the Rainbow TV series. If you're old enough to remember the Rainbow TV series, it's kind of what it reminds me of. What the heck am I going to be doing? Oh, right. Am I going to pick this up? Hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, right, okay. Hang on. The keys are rubbish, by the way. I don't know what... I'm not sure I've got them all. It makes funny noises, right? Yeah. Completely confused by this one. What's that about? What is it about? And there's something going on with this. Some, there's some kind of weird... With, with It's flashing all over the screen. There we go. The jack-in-the-box, clearly something to do with it all. He's, like, collecting items or something. Is that what you're doing, jack-in-the-box? Let's give you that. Can you have that as well? He's clearly collecting some kind of items for some reason. Are we tidying up or something? Is that what it is? Are we like the teddy teddy bear equivalent of a cleaner or something similar? I don't know. I'm just looking at the sprite going up and down the screen, by the way. No idea. You can see why I probably haven't played it. It just seems weird. And there's something here about this. This must do something. And then there's these boots and things over here. And... and I don't know. Does it give it any music when we die? Let's see if we get any music when we die. Nope, nothing at all. Right, okay. Um, I think that, that we can quite honestly... I don't understand the, the entire in, ins and outs of that one. So that's 1983. Hey, this is interesting, isn't it? We had 82, 83. I wonder if it's 84 or the next game. Um, the next game is, in theory... Uh, Magic Mountain. Never heard of it. Could be anything, this. Right, let's get the old load dit dit going. Not one that I... I don't even think I've got this in my collection. I, I, we'll see when it starts loading. I never know, to be honest with you. But I definitely got our diddums and definitely got... Uh, well, we actually inst we actually played my copy of Hungry Horace. Hungry Horace, one of these things, early Spectrum games as well, especially from Sinclair themselves, which was published by Sinclair, had a blank on the other side. They, so one side of the tape had the game on, in store, you know, to, to, to load, and the other side was blank. Now... I get the reasoning behind that, so that you could record your own stuff on it later if you wanted on the blank side. However, nowadays with the the, the age of the tape, sometimes it'll load on one side but not on the other. And you, you, you now we now we've got the scenario where you might have to have two copies of Hungry Horace just to be a hundred percent sure that you actually got one that works. So, no, that one didn't didn't do it. Spit there. Do that again. I'm half tempted to do the old Nintendo trick on it, you know, the old NES, the, 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 sorry, the NES system one, you know, take it out and blow on the tape. <laughs> Don't do that nowadays. Magic Mountain. Don't even know what this is. Right, I've got the, I have got my um, Play ZX handy, uh, just in case this doesn't work. So I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna have a little look on there while that, while this is, while this is doing its thing. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, not playing very nice there. Let's give that another try. Search Magic Mountain. Magic. Mountain. It's not... It's it's one of those things that's... Uh, ooh, nothing there. Magic Mountain. That's not there. I've not got... The place LX has nothing for Magic Mountain. So this is one of these things where if we don't... This doesn't work. We're, we will never know what this is. I don't think. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick look on the internet while we're... While we're, while we're trying that, and I'll have a little look and see if we can find it. Spectrum Magic Mountain. I just rewound that a bit too far, haven't I? Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain, there we go. There looks like there was two versions of it over time. It looks like it is an adventure game, by the looks of things. So Magic Mountain from 1983. Um, I wonder if it was if the, if I can find it under its its re-release name. Maybe you can find that. It's a French name of it. Um, Les Adventures by. Um, I can't do French, by the way. This is. Um, oh, Mont. Tag 
a magica or something like that. I don't know. I'm talking to you. Somebody French will be going laughing their, their head off at that one. But um, the pro- pro- pronunciation was terrible. Um, never did French in school. Never did it. Didn't do English either. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 oh dear, just amusing myself here. Just can talk about yourselves while I just have a little search for this. I was searching for it. Now that's not coming up either. That's a bit of a that's a damn shame, isn't it? Um it looks like there may have been another version of it as well by it was by um Phipps Associates. Never heard of them. Commercial release Phipps Associates um, let's see whether or not let's see whether or not I can get it to my 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 play ZX quickly let's see if I can do that while we're, while we're, while we're doing that as I say let's see if we can get it there um, good old Dropbox this one so Dropbox on my phone um, uh, no nope. yeah drop it on there Oh look at this! Doing this, you can tell I do this all live, can't you? Because I'm busily sort of dragging and dropping stuff. Right, so there's the Magic Mountain thing. Right, let's pop that onto my Dropbox somewhere sensible, so I can find it. How about the Spectrum games? That'll work for me. Right, let's see if I can get it onto my phone. This is go, oh, go. Oh, we're going, we're going proper complex here, aren't we? Um, let's do this one. Open a Dropbox on my phone. Uh, files. Da, 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 da. Games. Oh, what wonderful technology we have nowadays! It really is, isn't it? It's just brilliant. It's it, you know, this the, all this stuff that we 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 kind of take for granted. Um, I don't think it's updated it yet. Oh, there it is. Right, let's download it. Export to my phone. Save to the device. Save. Oh, we're getting there. Can't brace yourselves, guys. This is exciting, isn't it? God, that's the most exciting thing you've ever seen. Look, there's a blue, blue and white screen there. It's brilliant. Now you can aim me get the tape ready. Now we're going for it. We're going for it. This is where it won't load because it's it, it's like I don't want to load. But we'll give it a try. Hold, brace, brace yourselves. I'm almost there. Plugging things in now on the phone. Here we go. Plugging it in. Plugging that in. Play ZX. Come on, Play ZX. Let's go for it. Um, let's find something. Select that one. Select. Add. Right, it's there. Let's push the play button. Here we go. Oh, oh! Thanks for sticking with me there. So, Magic Mountain um, looks like a text adventure from what I could see there. However, there, there looks like there may be other Magic Mountains out there, but we'll go with the first one on the list because that could 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 or not be could could or could or may not be the the right one. But it's worth a try, isn't it? It's worth having a look at that. So, um, there is another. No, it's one called Magic. Magic Mountain. Ah, oh, Phipps. Ah, oh, right. I've just just found the cover for it. I've got this. Yes, I do have this Magic Mountain. Um, it's it's got like um a bright sort of. I tell you what. I might just I might just I might just download that lovely picture for you, and I'll I'll, I'll do is I will. Ah, stop there. And press any key. Ah, oh, that's interesting though, because it was still loading there. I'm standing on the. On the east-west path at the foot of a mysterious mountain, sorcerers gather here to summon their evil masters from the other other worlds. Legend speaks of a mystical scroll of wisdom hidden deep in the chambers of the mount. Right, okay, of this mount, shall I say. I will act as your eyes and your hands while you guide you through a simple sentences to find the scroll. Use the, use the sentence such as, Go west. Get the wizard's hat. Use the scythe. I can understand many words, roughly 100. For example, look, quit, get, list, drop, use. And if I do not understand, I will say so. Press a key. You see your... 
Hang on, is this still loading? I'm hoping this isn't still loading on here. It's still running. It's still four minutes worth. I hope that's. I hope this just still works. You see your score at any time by typing score. Uh, maximum score is 1,600. Why 1,600? You'd have thought. So weird, isn't it, when people do things like that? 1,600 is the score. What's that about? Don't get that. Anyway, 1,600 is the maximum score. Uh, this you can achieve by overcoming many obstacles which will stand in your way of your quest. Um... This is a long game, and when you uh, you can quit, you'll be asked if you want to save your pro uh, progress. Uh, and it, right, okay, fair enough. Help. Press enter, and the main game will begin to load. Oh, no. Uh, it's That's just hope I found the, the, the press to play on the tape. Let's see if I can rewind back, because I, I, I was busy chatting, wasn't I, to you there? Um, oh, no, it doesn't work like that. I gotta press the start button again. Oh no, I broke it! Stop! 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 Oh! Please wait, right. Please wait, please wait, please wait. I'm gonna have to let it load through the first bit again, I'm afraid. Because I don't know where it went to. Because there's no rewind on um, Play ZX, which is a bit of a shame, actually, to be honest with you. Well prepared today, though. Apart from having to load that one up, I would hope I was hoping it was on the, the whole thing. But oh, yeah, we're definitely loading. So it was quite a quick load, as I said before about the whole thing. So the main game is now loading. We're, we're going to get the. It's a graphic. It's oh ah ah stop stop. Paused it. Right. Okay. We got. We did this already. Right. Okay. Uh, enter, enter, play, play. Oh, damn it, missed it. Right, stop that tip, run it again. It's only 50 seconds, you see. The load, the initial load is only 50 seconds, so we'll go, we'll, go, we'll go with that. Hopefully it'll load the right place here instead of load waiting like before. Yeah, it's ignoring it, good. Thank God for that. If it had just loaded it in its codes, that would have been you would have just loaded the first program it came to. Because loaded it is the the kind of um, load the first thing you find. Whereas if you did load a file name or program name, it would load that program name. So 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 um, yeah, there's a little bit there. So this should be hopefully hopefully it. Maybe get a loading screen as well this time. No, no, it's not it. I I lie. 42 seconds we're at. So, gotta be here. That was really annoying, though. There we go. Oh, it sounds like a loading screen as well. Cool! We're gonna get a loading screen now. I'm looking forward to that. So, that was Magic, Magic Mountain. Checkered flag. Oh, I'm not kidding. I have like 11 copies of the whole thing. I mean, uh, the thing about Checkered Flag is they gave it away, I think, bundled with the with the 48k plus, and the result, everybody's got a copy of um, Checkered Flag, Mega, Mega Chip, and a few others. Um, there's just like billions of them out there. Every bundle you ever buy of Spectrum games, you end up with um, yeah, that's the cover. Um, uh, you end up with a copy of, of Maker Chip uh, or or Checkered Flag, um, and it's not a bad game. It's just there's just a flooded market of them. They're not... God. I think you'd be lucky to get 50p for one, if I'm honest. You know, that, that that's that's the thing. You'd be lucky to get 50p for one. I think that's the the, 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 the answer to that question. Do you know something? I've just looked at my what's on the tape things. I actually started these what's on the tape and they were... They were... And the first what's on the tape I did was nine... Was, 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 was nine minutes and 42 seconds long. And then you get further along. I'm just 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 happened to be looking at them when I was because I was I was perusing which tapes I'd already done. You see, um, and then they start increasing in size exponentially. Next one doubles in size. The next one after that adds another ten minutes, and then it's up to hour long each. I think they average. They must average out at about forty five minutes. I think um, they're definitely longer this last season than they were previous seasons so thank you for sticking with me if you do actually watch all the, the whole thing um as i quite enjoy doing this because it's quite interesting to dig through history 
definitely interesting to dig through history. I do think the, the thing I do feel sorry for them. So what do you what do you do with these tapes now? You know, this is the thing. What do I do with them? Do I keep them forever? Or do I do I stick them to one side or do I re-release them to the to the populace? Um, it'll be interesting to see, hear your thoughts on what 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 I should do with them. Because I'm not no, no, quite honestly, I'm more than likely never going to play them again. Bar bar um, doing these things. I actually have a box full at this point. And I mean, of course, you can save the covers and other things, but uh, to some extent, you, we're not recording on these tapes anymore, yeah, and you probably wouldn't want to, because I don't think some of them are in the best of shape. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd like, to, I'd love to hear your thoughts on 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 what to do with them. Then we release them back to the, the to the to, to the populace might be an option, to be honest with you, but we'll see. Magic Mountain, Magic Mountain, that's where we're at. We are going to find out about sorcerers who come to to bring evil things to life. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. That, do you know something? I wonder. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? I mean, uh, Phipps Associates. I don't know who they. If they ever went on to be somebody else, or did they get eaten by somebody? But there was. This was a glorious time of homebrew games. It really was. These, these, these were. Be- you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a movie. Uh, bedrooms to, to, to billionaires. Um, and in quite, quite literally, this is that. This is a, this is a time of the, that kind of thing. You know that these that, that was very possible. You could, you could write something here and, and you know, make your first million theoretically, um, from from a bedroom. Um, uh, <coughs> and it's not a bad thing, but it's not quite the same nowadays. Anyway. Okay, you must try to enter the mountain and recover the ancient scroll of wisdom. Guide me with short sentences. Yeah, we've done this before, haven't we? Get the shoes, direct me north, south, east, west. I know many words, blah, 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 blah. Over 70. Before he said he had new 100, now he's only knows 70. Yeah, okay. And he's getting dumber by the second. Um, and again, the maximum score, 1,600. What's that about? Uh, as long as the... Uh, yeah, and he quit to save. Right, press the key. I pressed the key. Are you starting a new game? Yes. I am. I think I've played this one before. I feel feel feels reminiscent of a of a version of something I've played before. Does does feel a little reminiscent of something I've played before. Uh you're at the foot of a mountain, the tunnel leads down. Uh you also see a wizard's hat. Take hat. Get hat. Okay. That took a second, didn't it? Let's wear the hat. Just thinking about it. Right. I for inventory. Invent. I just want to see what I'm carrying. Wizard hat worn. Okay, so I'm completely naked bar a wizard's hat. This is going to be an interesting trip. I hope it's not chilly. Um, okay, let's go down. Down. I've chosen down. Okay, you're in a large cave. There is a small kiosk with a dwarf beside it. A poster outside the kiosk says, Scythe sold, fortunes told. He's cleaning his fingernails with a curiously shaped dagger. Okay. Also see a quill pen. Get a pen. I probably can't. It's probably held by the man, isn't it? Okay, I've got the pen. Uh, he's clean as nails. Blah, blah, blah. North and south is the direction we can go. Should we talk to him? Talk to... Dwarf. What's he going to say? Hello? I can't. Oh, right, okay. I suppose I could say buy scythe. Couldn't I? I saw that in the thing earlier, so I guess you need a scythe for it. It's all got a bit Grim Reaper, hasn't it? So, bit Grim Reaper. How? With money? I don't know. North. I'm sick. Sick of that. Let's go north. Oh, look, we've got a drawing. Oh, north is outside again. It looks like, I think. Yeah. Right. 
So south. Down. Oh, north takes me out to the to the to to, 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 to out of the tun uh, tunnels up into the right. Okay, well, so we'll go down. So we're going south then. So that's the only direction we've got available to us. Uh, drawing, 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 drawing. Looks like a maze type thing. Oh, what about that? I said maze. Uh, south. This is going to be annoying. I can't imagine anything more annoying than a maze. So I do south again. Just keep, keep going south until we run into a wall. Uh, I'm going to go south again. The assumption is, of course, that you can go north, south, east, west. It's not really a maze if it's just a straight line, though, you know. Must end up on a wall at some point. Right, so we're just running backwards through a maze. Yeah, definitely take or leave this one. There are some uh, adventure games out there that I really quite like. I like there was, there was some, something called the Tangled Tales, I think it was, um, I, and I I don't know why, but I seem to quite like that. That was a that was a budget title that was there. Right, I think I've I think I hate to say it, but I've had my fill of that because if I've gone south that often, it can't be can't be right. I'm just gonna do west for a change. And it's drawing the same thing, chaps and chapesses. Mm. All right, I think that's enough. That's that. That we were very fair with that, weren't we? Let's do quit because that should should chuck us out and stop us working. Can I just break? <gasps> oh, I can break it. Yes. Oh, I love it when we can do this. Let's list it. Let list. There you go. Oh, he's changed the colours of the text so we can't see it, but. Uh, there we, there, it's a basic game. Quite a few of them were, to be honest with you. If you could be bothered to change the colour back of the ink, you could be able to see that, because you can see it flying past as you do it. I see if we press run, though, it just doesn't run. Nah, so it runs from a different point within the game. Oh, well, that was interesting. Right, carry on. New. Let's refresh that. Give the old load dit dit. And let's go for it. Let's so so that's that one. Let's fast forward. And let's see if we can get to what we got here. Yeah, that's not that's not that's part of that program. I'm, I know it is. That's part of that magic mountain, mountain which was a very lo long loader, considering it was basic. Actually, I have to admit, I was very surprised by how long that was as a loader. Okay. Fast forwarding. I can't. Sometimes I wonder how much of the video is just this blue, the cyan, and the and the red going past on the screen. You know, I do sometimes wonder. Right. Okay. That sounds like it's gap. So, in theory, this is the um, rather excellent checkered flag. However, mostly extremely over over overused and over sort of. Um, you know, put onto things, and and do you know some of the amount of copies that are out there? Why the heck would you actually copy it? I mean, it makes no sense to copy it, does it? When there's so many of them out there, I actually bought it. I actually bought it um, myself. To be fair, I bought it from um, a, 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 a sort of one of these boutique stores. You know, these kind of things. That you, Debenhams, I think, are the last of its type in the UK. You know, where you have a, a you know, the the the, the old the old um, sort of perfume counter followed by the the sort of the the sort of various haberdasheries where you know they sell like single buttons for 3p or something like that you know the kind of thing i'm talking about so 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 yeah we we, we had those as those are one of the places i remember as a as a as a as a kid and we used there used to be a section upstairs for um, computer games and computers and things like that and they almost always invariably had spectrum set up playing jet set willy that was the one that was always on it for some reason jet set willy was always i think staff liked it you know i'm sure the guy the, the single guy who looked after it was probably that that was that was his thing we're not doing very well here 
No, it's check it, check it flag, right. Okay, I am going to do check it flag in a second. I'm just going to see if the other game on here loads. This has not been the best of tapes, and I think it's a tape more than it is anything else. Just a literal age thing here. It was set left, sort of halfway rewound, um, like the, like people do with these things, and, and, and it was kind of left there. Now, I do have a copy of Checkered Flag, again, very handily, just above my head, so so I will we'll, 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 I will I will get down Checkered Flag and we will do it. But I just wanted to see whether or not this, this that we, we've got, we've got the, the, the invaders here, the space invaders. It's interesting it says space invaders, so it, it, it sounds like a different version. This is not space raiders, which is a cracking version that you can get um, for the Spectrum. Um, plenty of them out there, though. Plenty of them out there. Fairly sought after, but plenty of them out there. I think I paid a reason. I paid a little bit more than I would do for for, for this than I did anything else. Yeah, intruders. Right, that's that's the one we want. So we'll pop that out. Right, I will do. What we'll do is we'll get the checkered flag down, which I've got up here somewhere. He says, leaning back and looking. There we go. Right, we've got checkered flag down. We'll do checkered flag first. So it's a silver tape, silver one, silver copy. Cracking game. Right, let's go for it. So I discovered my copy of Checkered Flag doesn't work. I did play it not that long ago. Quite liked it because they had the they made the game they made the cars very similar to to um, sort of they, they kind of they did obviously it's Formula One that they were aiming at but they but they were very good about making the cars things like you know the McFaster special and things like this and the, the Scion oh god this is where my tape doesn't work look at that what a surprise to be fair I have got like 10 11 million copies of it so so I'm sure I can find one that works Fair, I was sorting through them recently, so I probably picked up the one copy that doesn't work and put it on the shelf. I think I think that's probably what's happened. Let's rewind this and let's try it on the other side quickly. If not, I'll pick up another copy out of the out of the pile that I have behind me of duplicates. Don't have that many duplicates left actually recently. I've had I did a sort of uh, I I gave them away actually to be fair to other Spectrum uh, uh, lovers. Uh, so um, sort of gave them all a little list and said, "Here's what I've got. Do you want anything? Um, just just put them put them out there." Um, most of them are fairly common. I don't think there was anything exciting amongst them all. There's very few double dual case ones, um, few boxed ones. Nothing, nothing of excitement. But uh, yeah, I put them back out there. I like to put them back out there. I think it's really important to 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 to, to move these things around. If you've got duplicates and you don't mind, and it doesn't, it's not an issue for you. They don't have to sell them. I mean, but to be fair, if you're a collector anyway, you tend to be it tends to be the case that you don't need to worry about it. Well, I'll be. That'll teach me to take the nice silver cased one. Let me see if I can find another one. Hang on a second. I'm just going to wander over here and grab. Oh, how many copies? Uh, there's only eight of them there. Let's have a. Let's have another copy of Jacket Black. That one looks good. Oh, another copy of Jacket Black. We'll pop that in there then. And we'll go for it. That's a bit disappointing. I kind of liked it because it was a white tape with a silver with a silver face on it. It was kind of a different one. I've not seen one of those before. That's why I quite liked it. But I'll take any one that loads. Any one that loads. There we go. I always like the way they did that, where it was like flag in capitals and flag in lowercase, in case you actually typed it in, because I think on the tape it actually says load di flag di, you know, and, and I just, I don't think anybody ever did that, did they? I didn't, I certainly didn't, I never did the loaded it with a, with a, with a, with a, with a sort of code name, you know, the, with the actual code like that. I can't believe I've got five copies of it in my hand right now. Oh, 
I have to wonder. Ah, so just put those away. I have to wonder though how many collectors actually collect collect with them, if you know what I mean, or just just collect for the sake of collecting it without actually testing whether it works. I mean, one of my one of my sort of goals is to actually try all of my games, if that makes sense. I want, I really want. I'm trying to work my way through them. Um, I've actually got these little little red dots to, to put on the sides of the tapes that don't work. So that if they don't work, they don't work. And at least that way, I kind of know which is which. I mean, it's a, it's an easy removable dot, by the way. Don't get excited if you're a collector and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Put red dots. On? It's just so that when I pull out the tape, I know that which side of the tape works rather than than, than doesn't. Um, but uh, to be fair, I'm really good about rewinding things. So I always know that I'm rewinding stuff. So, um, but yeah, I, you know, there's different. The, the, just, it's just one of those things. However, I, t I did find something interesting recently. I decided to try the Cascade 50 tape, um, which has 50 games on it, all written in BASIC. It was kind of. It was given away. Well, it wasn't given away. It was a mail order thing that you could order, and pretty much everybody's got a copy of it. I've got two, um, not that many, surprisingly. I thought I'd have more, but I only have two, and it's said said to be the most atrocious tape ever. Now, however, I didn't see it like that because all the games were written in BASIC. It meant that I could load them up and I could alter the code myself, so I could change the graphics, I could change various bits of it. And yeah, they still ran as basic games, so they were quite slow, but I always saw it, always saw it as an opportunity to change them. However, what I did notice between the two tapes, as I tried loading them up, because one didn't work, is there was different versions. There are actually different versions of the Cascade games. There was like, I noticed by the loading that there was like, whatever version of it, say it was the horse racing game or something similar. It was like horse one and then there was horse two and they actually did do different versions. That actually meant that somebody actually refined the code slightly between different releases of it. That's kind of odd considering it was kind of a mass produced thing that because it was basic it was fairly simplistic to make it for the Amstrad and it was fairly simplistic to make it for the Commodore door and it was fairly simplistic did it go on the bbc if it did it would be fairly simplistic anyway that's the being the point um so it was quite interesting that that was the case and i, I was quite surprised that they'd made these alterations or certainly did i don't know what the alterations were and to be fair i wasn't prepared to to scan through the code to that kind of level but it was just strange that actually that was the case um and i hadn't realized that before so so i don't think there's any real mileage in it or from the collector's point of view you know go oh i i got the this version of it you know i don't think it really matters but the point is that they did do a slightly different version so so yeah not cool but i would say check and flag um i like check and flag i think this is a great game i do think this is a good game and now i've got a copy that actually loads that's an even better point <laughs> <laughs> so uh, much much better that we've got him actually loading but uh, yeah I was quite surprised by that so we've got we've got intruders I think I think it's it's a space invaders but definitely intruders is, is, is the next thing and then we've got this this um, thing of eight next so so hopefully we get all that loaded I'm looking forward to roller coaster I as I say I had a version of it um, and it came in. A, I don't know if I said this before in, in, in the, the sort of about the, the intro there, but I did. Um, I did actually have roller coaster. Well, I, I thought it was a roller coaster, and I opened it up and found out that it got Thunderbirds in it, um, which was slightly disappointing because I actually I've been trying to find a copy of a reasonable, reasonable copy of roller coaster roundabout somewhere, but uh, it's just one of those games that I've never, never actually had. Oh, we go excellent. So we actually have a working tape now, so I'll put that on the shelf so I know which one it is. Um, so um, we've got basically different courses it's formula one it's against the clock um it's nothing it's it's not this it's not really it's i always liked silverstone by the way for this because it's quite a, quite a lot of straights it's quite nice easy enough to go around the corner it's not too bad and all you do is set in times and it was quite nice because you did it with friends and whatever else is but it sat you in, it sits you in the cockpit we'll, we'll i'll show you in a second i'll just pop that on the shelf so i don't lose it there we go hurrah working copy right okay press the enter number of laps we'll just do two right and then you got to choose your car and i always like the fact that yeah there were there, i don't know if they had any advantages um i don't don't think they did i always like the mcfaster special though for some reason that was my my, my go-to car um and what was the accelerate that's it What's oh, brake? That's brake. Um, right, I'm just checking, checking the keys. Ah! I'm gonna blow up. 
There we go, that's the keys. Sorry. So there's like a fast turn and a light turn on it as well. And the idea was just to get around the course as fast as you can. There was like glass on it and all kinds of stuff. Um, I was never very good at it, by the way. And just to get around the course as fast as you can, set the new lap record. And, and you know what? When you played this with friends, you know, you took turns and you got a couple of races out. Of, people loved it. We used to love playing this kind of game. It was, it was, it was interesting. There was the whole gears going on, the temperature of the thing, pitting when your car was a little bit warm and needed new tyres. It was all. It was. It was good stuff, and we enjoyed it. We we enjoy playing these ones. I think it, I genuinely think it's still it still works quite well i mean uh, yeah it it's a bit older than it used to be but it, i think it's still quite good definitely one you used to play with your friends though oh we're right on the edge of the tires there got to avoid the glass it's not a very good track though by the way covered in glass and po po pools of water I'm not sure that that you that people wouldn't have uh, attempted to to, to ah, slow down, slow down. That's it. Put the brakes on. Here we go. I always find it difficult getting in the pit, though. I think you have to slow slow down. Pit stop. There you go. And then you get the countdown to go again. There we are. I think I always tried to drive into where the pit was. That was the thing. I think that was the what I attempted to do every time. Oh, skidding. Hit the water. There we go, turning that corner. But it has to say it had strong turn and light turn, which is a which was different for the time. There we go, make it around this course. Really good. Oh. It's terrible taking the corners here. Not exactly taking the apex. I'm kind of kind of swinging it in far too fast and taking it through too slow and oh, I wouldn't make a formula 1 driver. Oh. Oh, the car's wiggly now cuz of buster tire. Speed's limited look. It's all wiggling because I bust a tyre because I ran over some gravel or some, some grass or something like that. Glass. Grass. I ran over some grass. No, I've done very good at growing over the grass. I want to make it round. I do want to make it round. Because I put it on two. Yeah, check. Take in the chequered flag. Sweet. Built, beat the record. That's it. That's it. That was all there was to it. Brilliant. Just did what it needed to do, didn't it? I mean, look at that lap time. 1 minute 30, 30 33. You know, best race. Can't really beat that. Fantastic. Worked the way it was meant to work. Anyway, right, let's get onto this intruders and see what this is like. Let's go for that. Right, old spectrum reset this time round. Give it a old reset. And get down the load dit dit. Because we need to do load code. Standard mode code. How did you do that in the 128 mode? Comments below, please. That would be useful to know. Because I don't know how you did that in the 128 mode. You don't, I, could you could could you could you do load code in it? Um, maybe I don't know. No idea. Okay, intruders. Are we going to get loading screen? Are we? Maybe. We'll see. I've been joined by some uh, my 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 by by my my dogs, and they've just left me now. They were, they were very excited. They just came in and said hello, and then they've just disappeared. I'm very excited. Quietly though, just came and threw themselves on the floor in front of me. Because they're soft. <laughs> very soft dogs. Very soft indeed. Oh, here we go. That was quick. So six seven zero. Uh, S to start. Definitely space uh, space invaders. Oh, I couldn't push zero. That was quite quick. Intruders, it's definitely space invaders, though, isn't it? Do you know, we used to do this when I was a kid, and I see, I can see what they're doing here. They're trying to avoid the color clash, so everything moves um, uh, eight pixels at a time. 
so when you shoot through the building it just literally creates a great big hole through the middle of it um, but when you used to play the original Space Invaders you could shoot a tiny little hole through the middle um, and their bullets wouldn't come through but you, you basically were allowed to sort of shoot through the middle of the building last one oh they're going faster but we all know why they went faster on Space Invaders, don't we? Basically, the, the, the more less items there were on the screen, the faster the processor could run. So the speed got longer, faster and faster. Please enter your initials. Left and right and enter. Right, okay, cool. Let's enter my initials. Yeah! Space Invaders. Simple. But as you can see, the 8x8 eight eight squares, so, I mean, the original Space Invaders, you could cut literally a hole in it with your laser that was a single pixel wide, um, whereas this is kind of like the, the full 8x8 eight eight square. So somebody was trying to avoid the colour clash, and that's what's exactly what's going on there. You can even see the space between the Space Invaders is exactly 8x8 eight eight squares as well. It's quite interesting how they've done that, or decided to do that. It's to avoid the it's to avoid spec the spectrum sort of um you know text mode color clash that goes on anyway right okay so um i'm gonna see if there's anything else on this tape i don't think there will be um this person as i say was fairly meticulous with the way that they label things <coughs> and we'll go on to the cover tape because um although this has been a very successful un unsuccessful and un unsuccessful and unsuccessful tape we've had hungry orris load off it we didn't have checkered flag we didn't get our didums we didn't get did we get our didums we did yes we got our didums and um, we didn't get uh magic mountain or checkered flag to run so um yeah we got two of the three of them out on there wasn't bad wasn't brilliant wasn't bad no pretty much silence i'm gonna fast forward a bit to see if we get anything No, we're looking we're looking looking quiet. Definitely quiet. Mm. Quick drink of coffee there. Oh, I like coffee. I love coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I do love coffee. Not a tea fan. Coffee though. Oh, oh, oh. oh it's brilliant coffee. I like milky coffee. Cappuccino person. If I ever go out and have coffee, it's cappuccino. Love it. Love coffee. Sorry, got a complete tangent there with the coffee. Do you ever? Do you ever? If you if you have, have you ever seen the? Uh, I mean, are you probably you, you may or may not have done. Depends on how old your kids are. Did you? If you ever saw our, um, oh, what was it called? The regular show. Mordecai and Rigby were the main two characters. Mordecai was some kind of uh, some kind of um, sort of large bird with the whatever else is, and Rigby's a like a raccoon or something similar. Um, and they go on a coffee rampage to to, to to fund a trip to a heavy metal concert. It's very really weird, but but it's a great it's a great show because it has it's it's a homage to the eighties. Everything is a homage to the eighties in it, including the games consoles and all the other bits and pieces. Well worth well worth watching. Good for the kids like it, and as an adult, you get the the the, the humor of of the of the eighties if you're that age. This is me on the other side, by the way. We're on the other side of the tape. Just giving it a quick play. As usual, this particular person has done what they normally do, which is nothing on the other side. And we're clear. Right, okay. Time to put in the roller coaster, and we'll go with that. Just going to rewind that. Nothing on there. So we don't with that tape. That was gone bad, actually. Um, apart from our didums, which I thought was awful. I really couldn't, didn't get that one at all. That was all horrible. Our didums, but, but we have uh, Hungry Horus, which is a good one. Uh, Magic Mountain um, was a bit weird, um, but it was, it was okay. Um, and Space Invaders was fine as well, so that was not a bad one actually, not a bad one at all. Right, okay, here we go for it. Right, so this is the game that I, I, I as I say, I opened the cassette and I'll tape and there it was, Thunderbird. So I was absolutely, absolutely mortified if I'm absolutely honest with you. Mortified. I'm not going to load the assembler on it, unless you really wanted to see the assembler, but I don't think you really want to see the assembler. I mean, it's, it's, it's like for assembling games in machine code i don't think you really most of us most of us wouldn't use that possibly but we'll see right 
I'm interested to see what snare is though. I've never seen snare. Oh no! Is this gonna be a is this gonna be a failure? Don't be a failure. That wasn't very good. That's not a good start. Let's just do this properly, please. That's the problem, though. Also, with any ta any tape that's been left for a long time, these are the this is the issues you, you run into. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I did this last time round, and it was it was a really weird one to do. I'm going to pull power on the uh, on the on the spectrum, and I'm going to give it another try because I found sometimes fully resetting it for some reason makes things work. So we all got a black screen now. Great. Okay. And we're back. Right, let's just give this a... That was a full reset. Just giving it a good old sort of clear down. You know, everything that's there should be cleared out. There shouldn't be anything there. I did find this. Um, it was... What kind of game was it? I think it was Kane on one of the games I was playing. And Kane decided that it would load after I did a full sort of specky reset. Instead of just pushing the reset button on the side. Weird, really. Maybe it's as, as comforting as, um, you know, blowing on the old um, Nintendo cartridges again. Possibly. Don't know. Oh, that tape errors. Let's have a look at the tape. Yeah, not the best looking tape I've seen. Not the best. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be one that's going to be on um, ZX Play. I don't know if it'll be one, let's, but we'll, we'll we'll have a look and see if I can find it. Um, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Right. Okay. Well, they they were going for it then. We're going for it. We're going for it. Roller coaster. I actually never played this, funnily enough. This is just a game that I know that I would like to play. I'm quite convinced I would like to play it, but I've never played it before. So, so, um, we'll see what happens. I don't even know what Demon Slayer is either. Different name there. Is it the same one? The Prize Hit Game, it says. Roller Coaster. Was there two different roller coasters? There isn't another roller coaster that I'm seeing in 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 the the, the, the ZX Play. Um, I'm just going to look while we're, while we're loading to see if there's another roller coaster. Could possibly be. I I, I wouldn't be surprised. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. One word roller coaster? Maybe it's a different version I've got of the, the just the, the loading version. Doesn't seem to be another version of, of roller coaster. Spectrumcomputing.co.uk does not have another version. In fact that's that that in fact that's the same picture in the front there. Nineteen eighty six Elite Systems it was created by. So, it's, so I'm not entirely sure what it's about. It's um, I'm going to read the instructions while this is loading. Should we have a look at the instructions? Let's look at the instructions. Oh, we've got 94% uh, and crash. It has 60 rooms approximately for hours and hours of fairground ground fun. Um, a log flume, a roller coaster, big wheel, a ghost train. Uh, all things you'd expect from a day out. OP and M is to run faster and caps shift is to jump. That's a bizarre position. Um, and the scenario is uh, your Colonel G. Bogey Pleasure Park is... Well, Colonel G. Bogey's Pleasure Park is in full swing. Um, but what's this? A disgruntled employee has swiped the takings and left them scattered all over the fairground, fairground and has sabotaged all the rides so it may be switched off so the park's done and you basically the colonel's park is closed 
and you have to help him get his money back and the only way to do this is to ride the rides at speeds that are going to be suicidal all right okay way to go colonel right that's what we're doing we're saving the colonel's life and he's all these other bits and pieces i've not played this one before as i say interesting Yeah, the re-release cassette. I'm just looking at the cover of it. It's just basically it's that guy there, basically in in, in a in a bright red version of that, uh, or the red no, yeah, it's red there. Sorry, but with flames on the front of it. So um, that's the re-released version. The original inlay is almost identical by Elite Systems. It's kind of cool. Very cool indeed. I don't even know what Demon Slayer is though. I can imagine that's the next thing we'll need to do. Unfortunately, I think we'll have to load Demon Slayer as well. I think that's going to be a, it's going to be a, a long one. It looks very good. This though, from what I can see from the pictures, this looks good, like good fun. This platforming, fun, grabbing the bags of money. Um, I don't know how many bags of money there are, but there's 60 screens. There's at least 60 bags of money, isn't there? So um, we've got to take those and we've got to get those back to them. So it's, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. And then we've got to see if we can get Demon Slayer to load. Maybe. <laughs> I must get my, some of my Spectrum for repair. I still haven't done that. Must be. Must do that. It's another thing that needs to be done to get them sorted. I certainly want a grey one sorted. I think the production line would be nice. If we can get that one back up and running, that would be... Because it's more compatible with other things. You know, certain games have been problematic in the past because they're not quite compatible with the... with the, uh... Plus 2A. First time I think I saw an official roller coaster as such as a kid was I think um, at a, a place called Wixty's Park in 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 uh, in, in Kettering. Um, that's where my granny used to live. Right. Okay. Let's go over. Let's play this. Enter to play. Okay. So I'm this little dude here. That's my jump. Ah! Oh, died. So there's money. There, that's money. Money. Oh, jump too far. What an idiot. Well, it's very fast. It's kind of. It's great. It's crazily fast. I can see why the 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 guys created a. Oh. Wow. Okay, not 100% sure on this one. It's alright, but it's, it's tough. That kills you. Right, okay. What doesn't kill you? Oh my goodness. So the water knocks you off. Ah! Ah! Right, this is a tough one. Ah, I could go in this. Right, it's got to go in the roller coaster itself. Wow. Alright. <laughs> not as excited about it as I thought it was going to be. I was quite, I was quite looking forward to that. And it, it turned out to be not quite as much fun as I was hoping it was going to be. That's my run fast. Wow, look at that. Run fast is amazing. Just jump too far, though. Right, I'm on this. I'm going on the roller coaster all the way because it kills you if you step on the ground. All the way with the roller coaster. Wow, tough game. Very tough. Ah! This is tough, very tough indeed. Ah! 
I, I like the colours and the brightness of it. I think it's really good. I do like the I do like the way that it looks. It's really quite quite good. There we go. Cafe thing going up and down. So weird. Enter the house of fun. Do I have to? Alright. That's alright actually, but tough. Extremely tough. I have to admit that was extremely tough. Let's see if we can get any look, any 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 luck with the with the tape on the on further on down the way here. Let's see if we can get this demon hunter to load. I mean, we we have a few things. I'm interested in this mute, this sound and light thing that's on here as well. So we'll give this a try. Got a couple more things to go. Brace yourselves. If you haven't got a cuppa beforehand, well, that's your own hard look out. Pause the video and go get one now. Dear me, uh, you know, do you expect me to do everything for you? So right, let's skip that. That was the roller coaster thing. Fast forward this, fast forward it, fast forward it. Right, I don't know what Demon Slayer is. The thing is, I would, I feel like I should know what they are because they they are featured on tapes that I probably bought. Um, back in the day, um, uh, mind you, this is a this is a May nineteen ninety two. Probably on by then. Probably moved on. Probably on the old um, Commodore Amiga by then. So so it's possible. I don't know what it is. <coughs> See what this is. And with tape. Doesn't sound very good. That actually, I was listening to it there. It doesn't sound. Particularly brilliant. Right, okay, we'll go on a bit. If we've missed it, we've missed it. Now it sounded like it should be something, but it didn't do anything. What the heck? Inky circle, da da da. Yeah, a lot of R tape errors there going on. Tape almost seems gritty in its nature. Now I've never heard of Demon Slayer, so we should we look this one up as well? Let's look this one up. Let's just do this quick. Let's look it up and we'll see if we can find it. So, Demon Slayer. I hope they're not coming out of my house. <laughs> Oh, there it is, Sinclair Yosa 1992. This looks like it was just a cover tape game only. This is interesting, Sinclair Yosa 1992. So this is a, 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 on the scale of things, this is a newish game. What am I doing, typing plot? Let's just do, I'm losing the plot, that's what I'm doing. There we go, let's give a new. Okay, that sounds good. Right, let's do the old load dip dip. Oh, let's play that. Demon Slayer. Now it said something about this on the front of the cover, didn't it? It said, "Do the right thing." Oh, cancel, stop, stop, play. Try that again. Slayer. We've got the snare demo on the other side. Magnetic moons. Layer load by forty k. And 128k. Oh! Is a 48k or a 128k? Can load via. Right, okay. Magnetic moons, and then we've got the music. So we've got snare demo, magnetic moons to go, and the music demo. And we're going to avoid Pokemania because we don't need to know about the pokes, really. I sometimes like to see the menus for it, but we've. I think you've. I think you've suffered enough. You've listened to me long enough. So, so, um, so this game never was. Re was never released. On anything other than Sinclair user, which was pretty became pretty commonplace towards the end of the, uh, you know, when the, the the glory days are starting to roll roll, you know, end if that if that if that's such such a thing, um, these are the sort of these are the tail end of the of those those sort of 
I don't know, tail end of that kind of thing. You know, we just we just we're, we're working off. You know, and and the thing is that they they could almost commission their own games at that point for the magazines to sell them. So so I kind of get that. You know, a bit of exclusive exclusive games, exclusive this, exclusive that. I remember Dustin Dustin I've done on my channel before, and uh, Dustin was one of those exclusive games. And I just remember how good the graphics look, and I forgot how a game played. I couldn't remember how to play it to be honest with you. Um, it was a bit of a disaster as a as a video goes. But 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 it well, the point was that. Uh, Dustin was one of those kind of games. Anyway, we are loading. It should be a fairly fast loader by the sound the timing on there. It was only a couple of minutes it said on the on the actual um, cassette thing. So so we didn't get we don't get a screenshot. We don't even know what's going on. Um, demon Slayer, do the right thing. So I assume we're just slaying demons, but not me, of course. Leave me alone. <laughs> your your Sinclair user. Don't do that to me. It's amazing though, the tape looks that the tape itself looks tight and stretched, I think is the answer to that. Oh it's still loading. Or is it still loading? No, it should have loaded. It still seems to be loaded. Right, I'm going to reset it and run it in 128K because I'm def desperate to see what this is now. Right, loader. So we have got it. Play. Go. It's weird that it carried on there. It's like it was looking for other information. Right, okay. Demon Slayer. Maybe this is the demo. Maybe this is the the uh, maybe this is the, the the sort of music demo or something similar. A music demo. Maybe. Don't know. But cool if it was. Don't know. No idea. This is a 48k and a 128k program. Maybe it knew the difference. Maybe it knew was enough. It was on the. Uh, the, the, the maybe it knew it was on the um, 128k. Possibly. Don't know. Just watching the time. I'd say talk amongst yourselves, but you've already just got another cup of coffee, so you've already had a break. No more breaks for you. <laughs> no more breaks. No more breaks for me. Solidly working. Working here. I do need some more coffee, though. I do feel the need for more coffee. I think I said I love coffee. I'm excited to see what this is, but I, I do feel like it's... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. Let's hope I remember to put in the inlays for the Magic Mountain along the way. I probably remember, totally forget. So if I did forget, you know, put in the comments below. You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Come on. Come on. I'm excited. I want to see it. I want to see this game. I want to see what the old excitement is about. Come on. And it's still looking for something to load. Oh, it's a complete disaster. This is the Great Eight tape from 1992, and it's or oh, May 1992. That's just that's just a failure. That's a flop. That's just disastrous. Right, other side of the tape, and we'll see if anything loads off there. I'll give it a whirl. Right, that's that's rubbish. What was that then? Demon Slayer. No idea. Totally ridiculous. Let's get the old. Let's 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 find out what it, what it what it was meant to be. Um, and while 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 we're rewinding that tape, um, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Psychedelic Hedgehog Software. It seems like 
48k spectrum ah, that's probably the reason it's because it's running on my um i know it says it's loading that but but you, you never know with the with, we can never tell with the uh with the uh with the um plus 2a whether or not something's going to load it looks like let me get the let me get the let me get the um There's a cover tape, doesn't actually say much beyond that. There's a map. I'm just looking at the map at the moment. Just a platformer by the looks of things from point A to point B. Yeah, it's like a straight line getting all the way from point A to point B. So, now loading snare. This is a demo of software. If you wish to have a full game called Holborn Software on... Well, that'll, be the, that'll be now 01224, whatever else is. Hmm, okay, price is three ninety nine on processing and packaging. Oh starting with that loader is it again. I wonder if this same guy, Andy um Remick. Remick? Is he still writing games now? I feel like he is. I feel like I know his name as well. I feel like I should know his name. Yeah, it looked like a scroll along sort of um sort of beam up that kind of that demon slayer. Um snare. Oh, I might have played this. Well I might have played this a long time ago. Holborn Software, yeah. Came as a cover tape. Did it ever feature as a full game? There is a Sam Cooper version. Wow! Well, that's even more impressive than anything else. The fact that it was a Sam Coupe version. But was it a Sam Coupe version or was it um, something else? I'm just looking at the instructions quickly. Hmm, maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Wasn't. That doesn't look good. Oh no, we're in! Yes! What? What? Right, brilliant! Want the full game? Call that number. That's brilliant! Number one for keyboard. Ooh! Fire? Space bar? Oh! Look at that! Oh! We've got bombs! What do I... Hang on. What did it blow up there? Oh, 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 it's causing all a ripple effect on the bombs. Awesome. Oh, I've not played this before. That's good. I like that. So you've got to get gems. Brilliant. Snare's good. Right, so our best bet here is to set that off. Yes. What's this do? Is that a button to open the door? Ah! Let's them out. Right. Cool, though. I like it. There we go. So it's a puzzle game. It's, and it's good. It's a good puzzle game. Not that there aren't good puzzles games out there. Don't get me wrong. Right. But that's a, that's a good one. Look at that. That's that creature coming out, chasing me. He's going to come after me, straight after me. He's not... No messing from him. Ah! Oh, so there's, 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 there's all kinds of little things going on with that. That's quite good. I like that one. That's a snare. That's a good one. Aberdeen. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Really like that one. Put my name in Demon. Not that it actually saves it, but... I can't even put a space at the enter. But there we go. Calculus store. Right, let's go then. Next game. Right, so this is the Magnetic Moons. Hopefully this will load. Right, load it, it. Enter. Let's go for it. No, that was good. I quite like that snare. 
Did it actually get a commercial release though? And what I'm looking for is the commercial release. Appeared on a cover tape. Uh, multi machine media. Not one I've seen before. Um, I don't see it being sold. It must have been sold direct. That's the thing. I think the thing. The point is, I think it was sold direct from what I've seen. I think it was also appeared on the cover tape, tape 123 as a full game. I recognise that the thing about it is you can't see this, but I can. It's like a sort of like that little round guy kind of coming at you. I'm sure I've seen this before. I'm sure it appeared possibly on um, the Vega. I think that's where I've seen it. If I haven't seen it before, I think this is a Vega thing. If I'm, I'm going to check on the Ve my my Vega things and see whether I've played it before. I it just feels like I have. Snare. Yes, I have. It was on the Vega. It's a game that's actually on there. I don't know how I felt about it. About a year ago, I actually played it, apparently. Um, got got a few views. Check it out on my channel. I don't know if I loved it or not, though. Um, I did put fantastic combination of puzzle game with bombs. So I guess I must have liked it at the time. I'm going to assume so. That's always a good sign if I've liked it. So so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Right, so this, theoretically, is this Magnetic Moons, the, the Adventure Classic. That's actually what it says on the box, not what I've seen. Adventure classic. Strange though, I'm looking at the picture here of Snare on the box. I don't look anything like the Snare that we had in the loading screen there, but anyway. So, welcome back to What's on the Tip. <sighs> Thanks for being here. It's a long one. We've put in the effort today. Congratulate yourselves. Pat yourselves on the back. I've put in the effort as well. It takes a long time to do these. It does take quite a long time because uh, although you know you you, you see the video um, in some real time, I've got to edit it together. I've got to stick the bits from my my, my um, camera on to do with the sort of the tight the intro sequence and the and the actual you know putting the cassette bit in and then occasionally I put a few pictures in and then I have to edit it all in and I have to put all the 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 the, 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 the music and things like that in. and it does take it does take a little bit. Right, okay. Search for the source of power. Press any key to continue. All oh, right, we're, we've got one of these. I hate those that text though. You're in the main control room of the Stella of of the Stella Queen. Um, oh, must be the ship. The large circular room is dominated by a view screen. Below which is the helmsman's console. Behind is the captain's command chair. To the left and right are the ship's system control consoles. Exit aft. You see Captain Morgan, Commander um, Pox. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the captain announces over the ship's PA. Morgan here, exploration party, report to the main airlock. If you, I will join you uh, there presently. What do you want to do? Aft. You've taken one turn. Have another go. Okay. Assist. I can't spell. Assist, Mr. Pox. Oh. I think I lost because I went different direction. Well, that's enough of that for me. I don't know about you, but I don't think I could handle a bit more of that. I mean, it, the thing about the adventure games back in the day is you had to have a kind of you had to use those sort of all those different commands and those all those all those sort of words you know that they, they gave you and guess what they did. And it's a combination of words more than anything else. And they kind of got superseded by what became the 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 graphic adventure, which which is where you've got sort of point and click later on in life, you know. And they got superseded by that. And then, although they were good at the time, and as I say, there's a couple I would like to see again. And I've got Sinbad and the Golden Golden Ship, I think it is. And I, I rather liked that as a kid, but but it's not one of those, uh, um, you know, one of those. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those that 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 I kind of I liked, but but I was never very good at. I never got very far in it. It just took sometimes just too too that lateral thinking. Although it's you know it should be there, but it sometimes just doesn't make sense, does it? 
Thompson Twins was another one. Did that have the music on it as well? I'm sure it did. I'm sure it had that hold me now. Boom, 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 boom. Anyway, I can't remember the whole tune, but um, yeah, the Thompson Twins was another one. I'm sure that it did that. I remember playing that around at a friend's house. Was it his friend's house or was it his friend's? Hmm. Might have been a friend's house. I think it was his sister's computer, though. She had it on, so... Um, I don't remember it. I remember that they, they had that because there was that girl, wasn't there? Sang with the Thompson twins. And, oh, God, she was one of the Thompson twins, but with the bright red hair. And I'm sure that was one of the things. And wherever they went, there was like these three characters moved around the place. With bright red with his bright red hair. It was quite funny, really. So um, anyway, one of the few adventure text adventure games I, I remember. I don't actually remember finishing a single text adventure as a kid ever. Um, I recently got Subsunk, which is the was the last of the it was the last of the white label um, Firebird games that I need. So I've got the entire collection now, and um, Subsunk's a, a text adventure. I can't imagine me playing it very much, but uh, it was just nice to to finish off that collection. There's only about I don't know a dozen games that are probably in that 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 that, that entire. Um, run of games and they weren't very expensive they included Booty and Mr Freeze and uh, Terror Crest and uh, um, Don't Buy This that was the one that's a great game Don't Buy This it was a multi-pack that basically contained multiple games that you don't need to do it oh 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 so do we just select the music is it just music from these oh dizzy make me laugh right okay um Let's go with, um, I don't remember the music to future games, so let's try that one. Just turn up the music, turn up the remote control, find the remote control now to turn up the music. What's happened to my remote control? I don't remember the music to that one. I must put on future games again because I remember liking that. That's a Mastertronic game with a lot of sub sub games. It's like Daily Townsend's Decathlon with with in the future. Let's do Sudoku Machine Simulator now. Yeah, okay. A bit weird. Professor, professional ski simulator. That's all right. I wonder if these are developed afterwards. I don't think these are the original tunes. I'm not sure they are. Let's do Hades Nebula. I hear it. That's not running. Hear TV? That's dizzy. Da -da, da -da, da -da. He's even got his own theme tune. I know a man who love this. That's just this is his favourite bit of the entire video. I'm quite convinced he'll if he notices it, he'll listen. To, he'll 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 put comment on it. Legend of Cage. Milk Race. I'm trying to Agent X, but it's not doing it. Seems to get so. It says wait for Milk Race. All oh, right, okay. So they maybe have to wait till it completes. Oh well. I wasn't expecting that to finish off. Actually, to be honest with you. So somebody's taken the music, coded it in, and actually given us it to listen to. This gentleman here, this Theo fellow, who's sort of smiling with his head at the side. <laughs> anyway, that was a very musical end to the 
to the to the to the um, what's on the tape, volume one of the new season. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon, and I'll catch you soon. Bye bye now. <laughs>